Grade 8 Math Number 5.3D Contrasting Nonlinear Data. Bivariate data is data made up of two paired variables. Bi means two, and variate means random variables. If the relationships between the variables is linear, then the rate of change, the slope, is constant. That line will be perfectly straight going in whichever direction it goes. If the graph shows a nonlinear relationship, then the rate of change varies between the points, and it won't be a constant rate of change. The slope will vary. If it says a graph, it probably means a one line of data. If it says two graphs, that could be two lines of data on the same grid, on the same coordinate plane. This graph represents data of education levels of male and female adults versus the income earned according to the 2003 census. We need to graph the data and find the differences between the two graphs. Now the blue is male and the green is female. Our X is how many years they were in school and the Y is the income in thousands. And you can see for a male or a female that didn't go to high school at all, they had less than nine years of education maybe they just finished middle school. That income compared to someone who's got a PhD is very, very different, isn't it? For a woman, it's almost five times more for spending time in college and getting more education. And the man, it's even more than that. There's a big difference between men and women. And there probably shouldn't be, right? Okay, so I don't want to get political, though. So here's our table with the number of years in school, the average male income, and the average female income. We need to find the rate of change between the ordered pairs for male income using the slope formula. Remember the slope formula. We have to find the change in y values over the change in x values. So the y2 and, and x2 are on this side, and we subtract y1 and x1. Okay. So we've got 10 years of school compared to 12 years of school, and we've got those incomes once we find the slope, we see that it's 4,600. So for the two years that they're in school, there'll be a $9,200 difference in income for just going to school two years longer. Just from being a sophomore in high school to being a high school graduate, they average 9,200 a year more. So that means they're going to make about 4,600 a year. See, for each year of school extra that they go. That's the slope. To compare a high school graduate to someone with an associate's degree for men, they're going to average $5,100 a year for every year more that they're in school. Between the two degrees, between a high school diploma and an associate's, they're going to make $10,200 just for that degree in difference. See that? But it's 5100 each year because there's two years here. We need to simplify this. To compare between an associate's degree and a four-year bachelor's degree, each year they'll make about 5900 more than someone with an associate's degree, the person with the bachelor's. See that? And then someone that's got a master's degree, that's 18 years of school, they're going to make, on average, 5400 a year more for each year of school that they went to, they're going to make 5400 a year more than someone that just has a bachelor's degree. So that's not constant. It's not linear. Our slope goes 4,600, 5,100, 5,900, 5,400. And they're very close to each other. They're all close to 5,000, but it's not constant. It's not the exact same number. So this is nonlinear. We can look at the line and tell that it's not perfectly straight, that it's nonlinear. See? Now we find the rate of change between the ordered pairs for female income using the slope formula. And we compare 10 years of school, sophomore and high school, compared to a high school graduate. And she'll make about 2,600 a year more for every year longer she's in school between her sophomore year and high school graduate. Comparing a high school graduate to someone with an associate's degree, she's going to make an average of 4400 for each year she stays in school. For a bachelor's degree compared to the associate's degree, she's going to make about 3250 a year more for every year she stays in school. And to compare that bachelor's to a master's degree, she's going to make about 5000 a year more for each year she stays in school from this point to this point. 
And looking at these slopes, 2,600, 4,400, 3,250, and 5,000, these are not constant. These are nonlinear. And we can look at the line and tell it's not constant because it goes up and down and up and down. It's not like a beautiful, perfectly straight line. So both graphs are nonlinear because they both do not have a constant rate of change. The slopes vary in both cases. The income, did you notice this? The income for a high school graduate male right here is almost equal to a four-year college degree female. Look at that. She would have a bachelor's degree from college and be making almost the same as a high school degree male. <laughs> so that's contrasting nonlinear data. We're going to contrast linear versus nonlinear in the next video. And if you like my videos, please remember to hit the like button. And don't forget I'm on Twitter and I can post these whiteboards as a picture so that you can save them as study guides or print them as study guides. I'll see you next video, 5.3e. Bye.